Toyota's Jeep pickup changes everything. Four-wheel drive, manual transmission, as indestructible as the legendary Hilux. <laughs> All for a sticker price of just $10,000? This cheap Toyota saves cars and trucks and is changing vehicles forever. But there's a catch. Let's go. Get this, the Toyota IMV0, which stands for Innovative International Multipurpose Vehicle, is the purest bare bones definition of a modern vehicle. No beeping screens to distract you, no radio to argue with your taste in music, and even basic gauges, just forget about it. This ride is all about embracing the minimalistic vibe. It's like Toyota took a look at today's tech pack dashes and just said, nah, let's just keep it simple. But here's the cool part. It's built on the same tough-as-nails platform as the Hilux, Toyota's globe-trotting pickup, the one that Top Gear tried to destroy, and then fellow YouTuber Whistlin' Diesel attempted it as well. And let's just say it's tough as nails. See, the IMV0 is a set of sturdy wheels, a spacious flatbed, and a cozy two-door cab. And that is your starting point, folks. A clean slate that you can turn into basically whatever you want. If you're looking for more comfort, that's fine. But every additional add-on is a line item to your bottom price. But guys, let's not look past the charm of this basic beast so fast. There's something wildly refreshing about a vehicle that sticks to the essentials. The Toyota IMV0 is a throwback to a time when machines were straightforward and clutter-free. And isn't there a little part of us all that finds this idea appealing? I mean, I can't be the only one that loves the idea to be able to buy this and build it into this. Yeah, it's like a Lego, which I hate putting together Legos, but you can build this thing into exactly how you see fit. And I think we all can agree that it's a pretty cool little pickup. But why is Toyota building this bare bones masterclass of efficiency in the first place? Well, fortunately, it's not for us Americans. See, we're not the only country that can't get enough of the pickup truck. Thailand, for instance, is a nation absolutely obsessed with them. And this beautiful country is where the IMV Zero story begins. Toyota moved an impressive 145,435 units of the Hilux alone in 2022, snagging a cool 17% slice of the market pie, second only to the Isuzu D-Max, which we don't get here in the States either. Now, it makes sense when you travel there, all you see is Hiluxes. I have to wipe the drool off my chin every single time I see one because they're just rad. Now, because of Asia's love affair with the pickup truck and Thailand's convenient location near Japan, it's the epicenter of what type of vehicles are needed for the Southeastern Asian markets. Toyota also made a splash with the Tamarok concept in the Philippines. This isn't just another truck. It's a testament to Toyota's ingenuity and the world's appreciation for cheap Swiss Army knife transportation. And speaking of Swiss Army knives, this thing has all the tools to be customized to your wildest imagination. When Toyota decided to flaunt the IMV Zero's adaptability at the Japan Mobility Show, it revealed how this versatile truck can morph into anything from a roving coffee shop to a DJ booth on wheels, or even an adventurer's dream RV. And the spotlight didn't just dim there. Standard, it comes with a gas two liter inline four, five speed manual, and rear wheel drive. Although you can get a diesel and four wheel drive if you prefer. Plus everything is pre-drilled for limitless accessories. If you can dream it up, well, you can build it on this platform. It sounds like the perfect cheap truck for the world, except for one big problem. We will not be getting it here. It sucks but here's why. First, the chicken tax. Yes, the chicken tax is a 25% tariff imposed by the US on imported light trucks that's been active since 1964. It was originally in retaliation for European tariffs on American chicken. It aimed to limit the importation of vehicles like the Volkswagen Type 2, leading to a significant drop in such imports and affecting various foreign manufacturers' ability to compete in the US truck market. The tax, well, it still exists today and has historically led to creative strategies by automakers to circumvent it, affecting the import and manufacturing of light trucks in the US. So now that $10,000 truck, well, with that tax, psh, is $12,500. Second, 
The reason we don't see the Hilux legally in the USA is because it doesn't pass US safety and emission regulations, in addition to falling victim to the chicken tax. So instead, Toyota came out with the Tacoma in 1995, which was essentially a redesigned Hilux, except the Tacoma is a softened version of the Hilux. I mean, since the Hilux can haul a payload of more than 1,440 pounds more than the Tacoma and can tow more than 1,000 pounds more than the Tacoma, it's way more truck but because it's built out of the country, it gets slapped with the chick While the Tacoma passes all safety regulations in the USA and isn't subject to the chicken tax because it's built in the good old state of Texas. Which brings us back to that plucky IMV Zero, which will be built in Thailand at the Samrong plant. And guys, just look at this thing. There is no way possible it's passing US safety regulations. It would need a complete redesign to be available in the US market. Plus with the additional R&D and subsequent certifications, it would double or triple the $10,000 price point, putting the price in line with a new Ford Maverick or a lightly used Toyota Tacoma. And for Toyota, the Tacoma is their bread and butter here in the USA. And they would way prefer that you buy a lightly used one instead of this truck anyways, since they can bank on you possibly servicing the vehicle at their dealers, where this no frills, cheap, but reliable IMV Zero will probably never need any work which is less than a Tacoma, even though they are super reliable. Now, the value of selling to Americans just isn't there on this razor thin margin truck. So if you want one in the States, well, you really have two options. First, you could just go buy one, import it, never register it and drive it on your private property, like a farm, for example, just not on the street. This would be one workhorse that would never die and never complain about work either. Or you could just look at Hey trucks or Japanese mini trucks are compact pickup trucks designed under Japan's Keiji Dosha or light vehicle class. They can be rear wheel or four wheel drive and have specifications to maximize efficiency with a small size, including a length limit of 11 feet and a maximum engine displacement of 660 cc's. Despite their compact dimensions, they can carry nearly 770 pounds, like for me. Now, these are super common in most of Asia, and this new IMV Zero is Toyota's updated replacement of one of these cool little rigs, which means a lot of them are coming up for sale on the used market for cheap, and you can get them in the USA because of the 25 year import rule. Like the chicken tax, well, the import rule was established to regulate gray market imports making sure new cars from Europe and Japan weren't sold in the USA without meeting proper safety and emission standards until, well, they were 25 years or older. Nowadays, that means you can import anything that was built 25 years ago to the day anywhere in the world. Pretty cool. And guys, real quick, if you wanna learn how to negotiate like a pro and buy cars for less, check out our free car buying workshop. I've linked to it in the description and you have nothing to lose. It's free. Okay, now to the next vehicle. So you could get something like this little Honda Acti town four wheel drive with a manual already imported into the USA. And I'll let you in on this little secret. Go fast enough and slam those brakes and you can do an endo over and over again. Just don't hit them too hard because you might flip end over end. Or you could get one from Subaru, like this Samber four wheel drive. Again, basically the same truck, same color, and the same amount of fun. But the fun, it doesn't stop there because Suzuki also has a fun little K truck like this one that went for under $3,000. Heck, for under 3,000 bucks or less than half of that new Toyota, this might be the ideal pick anyways. You could get like three of them for the price of one. So what do you think of that new $10,000 Toyota truck? Love it, hate it, roast it? Let us know below. Also, like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell and check out some of these ideal vids over here. I'm Brad the Financial Cowboy. This is Ideal. See you next week and promise me one thing, keep living the ideal lifestyle.